Hi folks, this is Wormati. Today we're testing a death room map by the name of Hellfire, version 2. This is made by an author called Lurua. The last version was released nine months ago, I think. We play tested this before. Oh, it's this map. I think I remember this map. I think I remember this map. I have no idea. So last, just like last time, we're gonna do... What's it called? Traps and uh, mini games and next trap, next map. Thanks, spooky glitch. They're not. They're alive, but they. Well, this is probably the best. Oh, I like how the bones are like the trap indicators. Oh, okay. Christ! Come back! Uh, I think spoof glitched. Hell? Well, that's strange. I can't spectate them. Where are they? <laughs> they're, they're glitched for some. You gotta. I think. You lose. <laughs> Sorry about that. If you could, please provide me with some details about what happened later on. I think it's probably a bug in my death room plugin. Have I just been born? Why is the screen white? I, might, I don't understand. Why is it necessary to blind me? Because <laughs> you live in hell. I'm suspicious that there are more bone followers. Yeah, bone followers are super bad. Yep, I've killed awful fist bone Wait, follower. Come back. And the network traffic in spawn has gone down. So you don't need me to tell you what the Good cause of fizz bone follower is because I told you in the last one, but for anybody else who's uh, watching this playtest video, fizz bone followers are caused by dynamic props. Um, Wait, Rick May statue. Typically Wait, Rick May statue? player model props. They're not needed, Where and they consume spawn? edicts and increase is network traffic. The solution is to go into the prop dynamic, edit its properties, and Guard disable generation oh, yeah, of bone followers. Odd lighting here. Bit weird. How are you supposed to get across? Oh, it's this way. Oh, okay. <laughs> that wasn't obvious. I mean, there's so much going on, it's it's difficult to see these little platforms against the, um, the background. Oh, that's the motivator, isn't it? Wait, we have... We have weapons back. Yes, I I restored back. weapons. I 
guess I'm guessing that was the motivator cue. I really couldn't say. Uh, it's I'm being assaulted by sound effects and and visual effects. So I, hard to know exactly what's happening. Oh, I think that's like. Ah, uh, well, you see, at least in this oh, map, wait, it's being like, spooked makes sense. I think it's like one of those. Oh, this is, looks really unfair. I hope you don't have to go through them and then they just explode at random. Nope, it's one trap. It's just one trap. That's a bit unfair. I wonder if you can shoot them. Let's try that next time. So, uh... Also, guys, the question is... Oh, shit! That's an automatic platform! Can I ever talk without Fortress screaming? Hmm. That's an automatic platform. Okay. It's one of those things. I find it quite I difficult to, to see these um, gravestones against the water. I did, but that was... That's the power of splash damage. That makes no sense whatsoever. I wasn't anywhere near the trap zone. Why Why do I need to be destroyed by crits, grenades? It's Halloween. It's interesting how you have to go straight ahead, but a lot of people want to go around the side. Where's like the little... Ooh. Oh, that's the thing that turns you into a ghost. And to think, you probably would not be able to get over there if you didn't have a jetpack. The... Oh yeah, there it is. I see it. Why is he just hovering there in the air? <laughs> Crocodiles in hell. What the fuck? Oh. Oh shit. Not so fast. What? How am I supposed to know that that there's actually a trap there. There's like no indication. These bones are blending into the ground. They don't look like they, they mark the trap bounds. They look like just general detailing. Really difficult to see them. <sighs> I don't know. Also, there's a problem. If you have traps which are close together, it can be difficult to work out if you're inside a trap or outside it. Yeah, I think you have a problem in this map with, with detailing. Wherever you look, you can see a lot, and it's really... confusing. I think you need to try and reduce what is visible to the player at once, and I think one of the best ways to do that is to change the, uh, the landscape. So rather than be a, a collection of floating islands, Instead, you could have um, a landscape which is rocky. Um, you could have uh, valleys and, and so on, caves. 
and so that way people's uh, vision of of stuff around them is naturally limited it seems that people are hesitant to go over this trap they probably think that it's unfair if they get to the central um, platform and they get killed they probably think that that's not a very fair trap and so they're just waiting for somebody else to do it yeah that's not fair but that would appear to be a sacrifice trap <clears throat> oh shit there's the motivator there's the motivator fool find the gargoyle fuck your gargoyle Ah, so it's Halloween on this map all the time. Oh, okay. Uh, what happens when it's Christmas? Surely Christmas or hell has a Christmas as well. Yes, 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 yes. Hang on, this looks familiar. You win. Oh, GG Blue. This is so proud of you right now. Spinner. Please get rid of this annoying um, flashing thing. This bright white lights. Where's the players? Where the fuck I'm are curious, they? Curious, like, what are the previous maps made by Lirua? Like, this is definitely not someone's first or second map. I shouldn't be r facing a, a free run button. It's really difficult to see the um, the, the runners because they're far really? away. And the same colour. This is impressive for a first map. That's There's the background. Crazy, actually. Also, they're faster than I am. This is impressive for and there's no like speed lane or anything. I Jesus Christ. My first map. This is horrible experience. What am I supposed to do? There's no chance. What? I'm what? Oh no, I've lost track of the red guy. Where did they go? I'm confused. Ah. Oh. Lucky you have double jump there, isn't it? Jesus Christ, this is not good. Yeah, this is a problem as well. I don't know where the other guys are. Well, I know they're behind me, but I don't have any... Um, warning for when they're about to teleport in and start rushing forwards. Thank goodness I'm allowed to shoot the buttons, that's all I'm saying. Oh, why is it vibrating? Jesus Christ. Yeah, this is really visually noisy. Really visually noisy. It's so difficult to see. I need to be closer to the um, to the runners. And from my perspective, all the traps team seem to do like quite a lot of the traps are just press a button, some magic effect happens, and then people die if you're lucky. And that's the last trap, and there's seven players remaining. You missed the gargoyle. 
And you're using these uh, training annotations for mini games. Ah, uh, this is. Why is it vibrating all the time? This is annoying. I just want to play some Death Run. I don't want to have to sit and wait whilst my screen is vibrated. Where do I go? There's the finish line. I passed the finish line, so why am I not um, why am I not winning? Hey. Okay? Reminds me of Mario Kart. I do. Dude, how do you use your items? It's not working for me. Like I was pressing F. It's not working. Um. <laughs> That's right. Oh shit. really dark as well that course it's really dark you need more lighting all this orange is actually quite uncomfortable to view and I'm getting tired of it I want some areas which are normal illumination as well a weird glitch here We're looking for issues with the traps. Yeah, they see there's bones place. everywhere here, so I don't know if I'm entering a trap or what, or, you know. I think you need to be a bit more clear. Also, you've got this here, which kind of leads people forwards. That's misleading, whereas this is where they're supposed to go. It's really difficult to see them platform, so get rid of that and put it here or something. Put a fence and have a sign that points to the right. As Having um, a platform that disappears also is, is a bit of a... ...a scummy move, because you can pretty much guarantee that you'll kill somebody. It's also really, really easy to rush on this. You saw how quick it was for the, um, for the scout to rush past. And you might say, oh well, the death run server that, that I am on doesn't have um, scouts which are fast, but... Um, Sky Oil actually does have scouts at their full speed. And I think, in future, it's possible that other servers will follow. See, what we're trying to do in Death Experiments is to make it so that, um... So that's actually solid as well. That's unfair. We're trying to make it so that, as much as possible, we can use normal abilities, so... Uh, normal speed, or the, uh, class is normal speed, run speed, uh, normal jump heights, etc. Normal health. I think we've tested the, the race. We've done we've race and spinner, no fight. Race and spinner? We haven't done fight yet. Fight, yeah, that's How about the AFK timer thing? The AFK timer. Oh, that's true. Let's see if that Yeah, works. I should test that out. Okay, it works, it works. <laughs> What? Whoa, wait, is this the play area? No, I think we pressed different um, buttons at the same time. I'm not sure. That is weird. Confusing. That was funny. Yeah, uh, and also trying to allow um, as much pos as possible for classes to use their standard abilities, like weapons and, you know. We limit some things, but not others. So we limit blast jumping. Ooh. Because that just takes the piss, obviously. But we do allow pyros to have two um, jetpack boosts, and we also allow scouts to double jump. And you could argue, well, I shouldn't have to accommodate that in my death run map. Scouts should not have this extra mobility. And yeah, you can argue that. I won't... Um, I won't disagree, but I think they have a time and a place, really, but you can also um, 
you can also try and design a map so it accommodates double jumping. So rather than just having gaps over which the scout can double jump, you could have uh, platforms that go around corners. You could even have sections for certain classes. So, a place that only, you know, a jetpacking pyro or a scout could reach. And you could <laughs> use these to uh, make certain traps less difficult, or to oh, yeah, enable bonuses, like pick up uh, respawning tokens, yeah. You win! Okay, the fight seems to work. Your, um, uh, yeah. Did we test all the traps? You'll want to scale the health of the activator. I'm sure we did when you choose a, a fight game. No? What you can do really? is you can count the number of players, red yeah, players. Well, I, I, guess, I guess that's my job now. Yeah. So we're looking for issues with the, all the um, traps? Oh my god, enough with the gargoyles. Um, you can scale the health of the activator up if you count the number of red players using a trigger and a, and a math counter. Uh, you can then output the value of the mouth counter into a couple of logic cases and um, the logic case gets fired on the activator and you simply do add output health and then a certain value so if say we had 10 players you could give the activator 10 times their normal health so 1500 for instance uh, health now that health is applied as an overheal which is convenient in a pinch because it means that they cannot heal themselves up if they pick up um, or they cannot pick up health packs. Well, that was unfair. No indication there that the bridge the bridge was um, going to collapse. Unfortunately, because you're distracting people with these ghosts, and which in itself is is fun, I suppose. And then the bridge just suddenly just disappears for some reason. Anyway, um, yeah, also your free run is, is not particularly interesting. The point of a free run is to kind of allow people to run through the map without the activator um, triggering the traps. It's not to go easy mode and just to make everything pointlessly easy. The, the death run course should still be interesting. So you should get rid of the, um, the easy mode crap. You also shouldn't have the free run button directly in front of the activator when they spawn, because that's all they see, and they might even press it accidentally. Put it off to one side. Also, make sure that the free run button is locked until the start of the round, because a player could trigger the free run uh, during pre-round time, and then switch teams, and somebody else would take their place, and they would not be able to, uh, to have a, a round, because free run had already been chosen. Yeah, there's a lot of clutter in your map. It's quite messy. I think you need to simplify the detailing a bit. Or at least reduce the amount of stuff that's on the screen. Like, all this stuff on the floor. Also, lighting is a problem as well. Yeah, it's already dark. Idiot. You shot the idiot! There's no trap there. That was the last one. And as I was saying earlier so on, it would be nice to have some to proper illuminated right. areas for change and not yeah, just have orange spinner, all the time. So maybe you could have a portion of the death room map, which is um, in normal Team Fortress 2 areas, and then we can hop in and out of hell. And then at least we'd have um, normal... You win! Also, let's talk about um, automatically respawning all the red players at the end of the round. If you respawn people at the end of every round, then there's really no reason to try and survive, is there? So, what you should do is have some way of spawning which requires the red players to complete a challenge. For instance, a lot of players have, like, um, an intelligence flag and they carry it around, and if the intelligence carrier dies, then that means that you don't get to respawn. If you res- well, you know. I know that uh, if you don't respawn players at the end of the round, on every round, then it can feel a bit unfun. So that's a good compromise. That present doesn't seem to do anything when picked up. Presumably it's a trap element. 
difficult to tell though because it looks like we should be picking it up. Gargoyle and stuff is a bit useless. I can't go and get it, so... Why is it so difficult to get through these pumpkins? I scaled the activator's health up to 6151. Ouch, I died. There's some Erasmus in this area? He's over there. Get his ass, get his ass. Team lost. Ah, my eyes. So annoying. Sod off, Gargoyle, I don't give a shit. Average war baddie. Ooh, my frame rate's going down in this area. I'm 65 F FPS. Jesus. doesn't have any uh, area portals. That's why it's lagging. <laughs> I checked with Matt Wireframe right now. I have magic to use it. I'm getting an average of... Yes. Jesus Christ. The 2 minus 3. Around feels... 90 and 70 FPS for me. It feels like you don't get a chance to complete the map because somebody's already rushed ahead. And... Um... We're just taking damage from something. Someone's rushed ahead and completed the map before we've gotten to the end. Uh, I think we tested all the traps. Am I correct? I think we did. We did. I see. Then we will go to the airbog. Spooky Toad has something to show us. In his oh yeah. Update. So, let's go there. Fuck's sake. Does anybody else need to lie down after this map because they're getting a migraine because of all the sodding white flashes at the start?
apologies for my negativity. I was getting a little bit irritated, unfortunately. Things like that, uh, they do tend to irritate me.